Yeah. Hey, Stephanie. Yeah, oh. uh, can I get two of those crisp or one of those crispitos? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, can I get uh, a couple things of my taco sauce? And I'm gonna be heading up the mountain here pretty soon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, another adventure. That'll be fun. So what do you plan to do while you're up there? Well, I'm probably just gonna camp out, have, spend maybe three days headed to the cabin, not really put the stress of getting there on myself, exactly. you know? Yeah. It's a little hard to do that. It really is. Getting up there and back. Yeah, yeah. At least back it's all downhill. Absolutely. Have you been working any on your YouTube or anything? I have. I actually posted a few things. I posted, um, I harvested a pumpkin the other day. Oh, I cool. got a bunch of seeds for planting, so I did that. I've been catching a lot of the, the wild cats around the park. Really? Uh, okay. Especially um, the other day my neighbor's cat caught a bull. Which, oh! If anybody doesn't know, those are like they're all, they're related to hamsters, so they look okay. a lot like hamsters. And I did upload a video about one of the wolves that live in my yard. So, really? Yeah. Oh, how totally neat! Too. Yeah, I really like keeping track of your YouTube. It, it, it's really neat. It, yeah, it's, it's cool been, stuff. It's been yeah. fun to try to figure out what's gonna come next. You know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. But for my channel, it's really there's really no. This is what's coming next, and this isn't what's coming next. Right. It's more like I, more like me. Yes. Just going with the flow. <laughs> That's it. That, yeah. It's about my life more than anything. So. That's what I really like about it. it. I feel that it follows that format of whatever happens, happens. And I like exactly. that a lot more than the channels that they like plan what they're going to do and it's all this big production. So no it's, and, and it's Washington's Wandering Witch, right? Yes. Yep. Washington's Wandering Witch. That's me. Very cool stuff. Very cool. All right. Then eyes are all right. If I house charge this uh, for absolutely. about a week. Yeah, okay, cool. Absolutely. Very cool. And I've got these for you. Oh, nice. I'll take them. I'll take them. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. That makes my lunch all the better. There all right. So Very cool. Uh, all right. Well, I need to get home. I'm going to have my lunch here. Then I'll get home and start cleaning up the place. That way, I've got a nice, clean house to come home to from the mountain. And, uh, I don't know. I'd like to p push off tomorrow, maybe. Uh, maybe the next day, because that'll give me that extra day for meditation, make sure that I have everything I need. All right, so I'm gonna enjoy my lunch and head on home. Oh yeah.
right. This is gonna be good. ammunition, weapons, tent, extra cold weather gear. I guess next time I could park closer to the pump. How you doing? Good, good. Yeah, nice. Yep. Yeah, I'm super excited. I'm trying to get up there real quick. I don't have windshield wipers. I've got a replacement, but I don't want to be doing it on the middle of the grade. No. No. You're going up there right now then. Yeah, yeah. You want that cart? I had thought about it, Dan. I think when I get up to the snow though, it'd hinder me. Uh, yeah, so I'll pick it up on the way back if that's all right. Sure. All right. All right. I really appreciate you, Dan. No problem, dude. You have a good day. Yep. I should be back uh, seven days. If anything happens, I'm taking the main road in. So uh, right. the, up the four-wheeler trail and then towards the mine. Okay, well, you know my phone number. Yep, yes, sir. I got it saved in. All right, Dan, you take care, sir. Later. I've got a full tank of gas. Wow. That makes me happy. I was locking out the hubs to initialize my four-wheel drive. I go four-wheel high. You ready? I'm ready. Ha ha! All right. So good.
rocks on the road. Close to the edge trying to straddle those rocks. Dang! See, this is a large slide area. Boulders come rolling down from that top of the mountain over there. About two miles up, it gets easier, and we stop climbing so hard. If you remember, uh, that's kind of when dragging stuff gets a little easier, too, because this first two and a half miles when on the walk up, dragging stuff, oh, it's not fun. It's not fun at all. Okay, so this is the point of the story where I have to stop and explain something to you. Right here, I realize that something terrible has happened. Now, I can't show you all of the terrible thing, and once you understand what it is, you'll understand why. I shot way too much footage of it, and it just won't fit in this video in a good way. So what I'm going to do instead is explain it to you using flashes. Okay, first, the terrible thing. Dang it, it's always something with me. I left my ca my camera bag, the backpack with all my, all right, just check over here first. I thought I put it in with my coat. Oh man, what do I do if I have to go back? I set it right here. No, I took it out when I put the, oh man. How am I gonna turn around? All right, we have to go back home. Don't forget the watch. I said it, I remember saying it. It's on the kangaroo on the nightstand. I couldn't have made it any more plain. <laughs> remember Pulp Fiction? Oh man, dang it. Okay, 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 it's all right. It's not all right. It's all right. It's going to be all right. Dang it. Oh, man.
Okay, I don't know if you can see that. That is a very big cat print right there. See it? Just for a point of reference, look at it compared to the size of my shades. That cat possibly weighs more than I do. Okay, wow, yeah. So the monsters are out here. We just have to keep our eyes open. Wow. Okay, I... Uh... Welcome home. We'll get some light thrown up here in a minute. Y'all guys are gonna need light pretty soon. Okay, I think what we're gonna do, since I'm about to start a fire anyway, is kick off one of our torches. I have four of them. And the torch will help me start the fire. I can use it as the base of the fire and then just stack uh, sticks and stuff around it till the fire starts, then put the torch out again. The legend was telling me uh, and his wife about some very large wolves that are out here right now. It's not the normal pack that hangs here. I guess it's like an off branch. Uh, the normal pack of Chapaca is called the Loop Loop Pack. And I don't know if this one has a name yet. Plus I saw some very large cougar tracks too on the way in. So it's like, ah, uh, it's just predators out here. That's kind of how I'm looking at it, right? And I'm just another predator too done several things to kind of shore the place up oh, put some more security uh implements around before i actually go to bed 
the tent is my best security actually because sometimes I feel like I'd rather be out here just laying out, right? Uh, however, the tent is kind of like a bag of potato chips, right? You have to open the bag of potato chips before you can get to the potato chips. And so uh, hopefully that gives me enough time to react. Now, I've gone around and I've scent marked uh, pretty much every corner of this enclosure. Uh, in other words, I've peed in a lot of different spots on uh, the fence. And the reason for that is because that's how animals communicate. I grew up doing that. And everything always respects those boundaries. Predators communicate differently with each other than uh, prey animals communicate with predators. Really all a prey animal can say is, hey, I'm here and I taste good, right? Well, predators, even of different species, respect each other's boundaries. And so not having fear in our system when we leave that scent marker actually makes a large difference in that. Also, the places that we scent mark, uh, like in the perimeter. I just try and do everything I can to really be part of it out here. That's how I'm able to, to survive like this, I guess, you know? Oh, I got a wire grate thing working for, uh, for roasting some food. That's hot, or I'd show it to you, see? And then I got our food over here up against the gate. We're gonna have to go out and hang it in a tree uh, here in a few minutes. There's a nice tree over there. Y'all can't see it. It's out there though. And uh, we'll just hang it from a limb up there. Do not want to draw anything in. I actually like it better and feel safer in the winter around a bunch of predators because I. Uh, I can track them at least. Nothing can move without leaving tracks, you know. While the fire cooks down, I have the chicken legs close enough that they'll thaw. And once it's nice and uh, cooked down to a bed of coals, then I'll put the chicken on the grate and cook it up. And I'll probably stoke the fire one more time uh, and then call it a night. I'm just reading a little bit of my book. Ah, uh, where'd I put that? Oh, it's up there. And I uh, kind of trying to settle in for the first night. Honestly, the first night is, uh, it's a little bit hard. I don't know what the emotion is. Uh, it borders on, it's not really even loneliness. It's, I don't know, just like leaving and ch a change of scenery and stuff, I guess. You know, it's like maybe I miss my house or something. I do know by the second and third day, though, it's full on adventure. It's almost like the shock of hitting cold water, going on a swim, you know, like getting in it is like the hardest part. And then once we're in and we're wet and we're cold, then it's like, okay, let's swim and have fun, right? And enjoy swimming. It's kind of how I relate this. It's cool though, I'm glad I brought my book. It's a Doc Holiday book, it's, it's pretty good. I just started it basically.
still can't see anything, can you? About to be an octopus to get through here. Nice. Good, good. Yeah. 